naval officers will come through Dartmouth. This is the first part of their training, so phase one. This is basically where we learn how to be warfare officers and how to do your basic militarisation and marinisation skills. It's tough and sometimes you just think, what am I doing here? But other times you think, actually, this is the best place in the world. When I was 16, definitely what I knew I didn't want to do was the same thing every day. I think it's really versatile, really exciting, and you're definitely never bored. You do a lot of leadership training when you're in Dartmouth, which will involve learning all about the theory side of it, the different leadership styles, then the practical side of it, which is actually going out, doing practical leadership tasks. I think going to university helped me in terms of social skills, meeting new people, and just maturing, really. You are taught everything that you need to know here, and as long as you're willing to learn, then that's that's the key thing. All my training was conducted through the Navy, no degree. I was a sideways entry from rating to officer. That's one of the things that the Navy gives you is at an early stage, you get so much responsibility once you get out into the fleet. It's the biggest cliche in the world, but you do stuff that you never believed you could do. There's so many opportunities that you get, which you just wouldn't get if you work in a civilian job. Living together and working together is hard, but when you're all together, it is like one big family, and it is lovely to have those people alongside you going through training. Thank you.